how to identify intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole forces, and London dispersion forces in any molecule. In this lecture, I will teach you super easy trick to identify intermolecular forces in any molecule. So watch this lecture till the end and you will learn something awesome. Firstly, let me quickly revise the concept of intermolecular forces. We have already learned that intermolecular forces is the force of attraction present between molecules. Usually, intermolecular forces exist in covalent bonds. For example, consider these water molecules. Now this water molecule is linked or attracted to this water molecule. This attractive force between these two water molecules is known as intermolecular force. Secondly, this water molecule is attracted or linked to this water molecule. This attractive force between these two water molecules is known as intermolecular force. As a convention in chemistry, these dotted lines between the molecules represent intermolecular force. On the other hand, consider these NH3 molecules. Pause the video and try to draw the intermolecular forces between these molecules. Well, intermolecular force exists between this and this molecule. Intermolecular force also exists between this and this molecule. Note down that intermolecular forces has mainly three types. Hydrogen bonding, dipole-dipole force and London dispersion force. So these are the three main types of intermolecular forces. Therefore remember that intermolecular force is the force of attraction present between molecules. Now let me teach you that, how can we identify polar and non-polar molecules? Well, there is a super easy trick. For non-polar molecules, if the central atom has no lone pair of electrons and the surrounding atoms are the same, then this molecule is a non-polar molecule. Secondly, in case of polar molecules, I write, if it is not a non-polar molecule, then it is a polar molecule. For example, consider these molecules. Here, carbon is a central atom and it has no lone pair of electrons. Secondly, all the surrounding atoms are the same. So it is a non-polar molecule. In case of this molecule, nitrogen is the central atom. We can see that nitrogen has one lone pair of electrons. I write, central atom has one lone pair of electron. Secondly, the surrounding atoms are the same. Now it is not a non-polar molecule. So it is a polar molecule. In case of this molecule, it is not a non-polar molecule. Although the surrounding atoms are the same, but the central atom has a lone pair of electrons. Thus it is a polar molecule. Lastly, this molecule is a non-polar molecule because the central atom has no lone pair of electrons and the surrounding atoms are the same. Thus using this trick, we can easily identify polar and non-polar molecules. Now let me teach you that how can we identify intermolecular forces in any molecule. Well, the easy trick is, I write h phone polar molecules and non-polar molecules. This H1 means that if hydrogen forms chemical bond with fluorine, with oxygen and with nitrogen, they contain hydrogen bonding. Secondly, if a molecule is a polar molecule, it contains dipole-dipole force and London dispersion force. Thirdly, if a molecule is a non-polar molecule, it contains London dispersion force. For example, Consider these molecules. In case of sulfur dioxide, it is a polar molecule. Although the surrounding atoms are the same, but the central atom contains lone pair of electrons. We know that if a molecule is a polar, it contains dipole-dipole forces and London dispersion forces. So sulfur dioxide contains dipole-dipole forces and London dispersion forces. In case of water, 
hydrogen is bonded to oxygen. We know that if hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, it contains hydrogen bonding. Thus water contains hydrogen bonding. In case of carbon dioxide gas, the central atom has no lone pair of electrons and the surrounding atoms are the same. Thus it is a non-polar molecule. We know that if a molecule is a non-polar molecule, it contains London dispersion forces. The carbon dioxide gas contains London dispersion forces. Secondly, consider these molecules. This nitrogen gas and oxygen gas are homoatomic molecules. It means that they are made up of same atoms. Remember that all homoatomic molecules are non-polar molecules because their electronegativity difference is zero. So nitrogen gas is a non-polar molecule. It contains London dispersion forces. Similarly, oxygen gas is a non-polar molecule. It contains London dispersion forces. Now in case of HCl, it is a heteroatomic molecule. Heteroatomic molecule means that they are made up of different atoms. Remember that if a molecule is a diatomic and heteroatomic, they are usually polar molecules because their electronegativity difference is not zero. Thus HCl is a polar molecule and it contains dipole-dipole forces and London dispersion forces. Remember that argon gas is the most abundant noble gas in the air. It is a non-polar Thus, it contains London dispersion forces. Finally, let me teach you some hard level questions. Consider these molecules. Remember that if a molecule contains only carbon and hydrogen, it is a nonpolar molecule. So, C4H10 is a nonpolar molecule. It contains London dispersion forces. Secondly, in this molecule, we can see that there is oxygen and hydrogen. We know that when hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, it contains hydrogen bonding. Thus, this molecule contains hydrogen bonding. Thirdly, in this molecule, there is hydrogen and nitrogen. We know that when hydrogen is bonded to nitrogen, it contains hydrogen bonding. Thus, this molecule contains hydrogen bonding. Therefore, Using this trick, we can easily identify intermolecular forces in any molecule. I hope that you have learned this super easy trick.